Right, hi everybody. <laughs> right, I've come on today with the requested uh, pyjama haul. I did one last year and it went down quite well. Um, now, I've got all these pyjamas from Next. So I know you can get cheaper pyjamas. Um, Primark have some brilliant pyjamas. Um, I've had a couple of pairs from Primark. Now, a couple of them, I found that I'm too hot in them. Um, but they do have some brilliant pyjamas. So look there if you're looking for pyjamas. But these are all from Next. And they are a little bit, well, quite a bit more expensive than what you would pay in Primark. Right, this first pair. Now, I didn't think I'd like these, but I do actually. I don't think you can see. They're like um, a fine knit in this dark green. Um, now, I got these in a large. I bought them all in a large. Because last year, I bought myself a pair of pyjamas from Next. And I got the extra large. And they were slipping down all the time. Um, so, they were too big. But I think I probably would have needed the, a, a couple of the pairs of Lipsy. Now, one pair I tried on and they were too tight at the top. You know, it was a fleecy one. Um, so maybe if you were getting a Lipsy pair, uh, go up a size and maybe get the extra large. Uh, but anyway, these, these, this pair, as I say, it's a lot nicer than what I actually thought it would be. It's quite fine, but feels warm and nice to wear. Right, let me come back here. So these pyjamas are £38, which I think is the most expensive pair of the ones that I've got. And they do feel really, really nice. Just let me tip you down a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see them properly. Uh, they've got a split at the side and they haven't got a cuff bottom. I don't really like a cuff bottom on pyjamas because I find that they ride up my legs. Oh, let's just turn that TV on. I was trying to put an autumn scene on for you. But obviously I got the adverts. I may have to block those out if I find out how you do it. <laughs> right, so as I say, these are £38, which is quite pricey. Um, they're quite a good length, a little bit long for me. For reference size, I'm a size, say, 18 to 20. And um, I'm five foot, well, five foot four five foot five i was five foot five but maybe i've shrunk in my old age so as i say these are 38 pound right let's go on to the next pair now these are the next pair of pajamas and they are lipsy and these are a size 18 they size this pair differently it's like it feels they feel lovely to wear they're a gray velour can you see animal print with a round neck, they do feel really well made, but these are also £38. Um, there's plenty room in them. They haven't got pockets. I like a pocket in a pair of pyjamas sometimes, but I do like these, and I think these would be great for lounging around in, lounging around the house over Christmas or whenever. They feel really, really comfy. Um, and it's lovely. It's the softest, it's the softest fabric. It's absolutely beautiful. What I want you to do at the end of this video, if you leave in the comments which pair you think's best, I am going to keep one pair, but I think one pair is enough at this price. Right, let me just show you again. They've got an elasticated waist, as you would imagine. Quite quite high, which I like. The length's okay for me. I don't know if you can see. So, what do you think about these? I really like these. They feel incredibly soft. And I think they'd look quite nice, you know, if you were lounging around in them and you got visitors or something like that. Um, they are really, really nice and they feel really well made. And as I say, these are £38. Still quite a hefty chunk to pay for a pair of pyjamas. But if you're going to use them as loungewear, uh, particularly over Christmas, because you know Boxing Day, or later on Christmas Day when you've eaten too much, you just want to get your comfies on, don't you? Or sometimes you stay in your comfies all day, don't you? Anyway, on with the next pair. Now, before I try the next pair on, I wanted to show you how they're packaged. 
Um, I know you can get a lot in Primark package like this. I know I keep mentioning Primark, but they are good for pyjamas. But these do feel a nicer quality. And these are 100% polyester, but they feel like a fleeced cotton. And look how nicely packaged you are if you're buying these for a Christmas gift. Um, and they've even got a tag on, to, you know, so you could say who, you know, a gift tag so you could say who they were going to and who they were from. Um, and they've, they've got little dogs on, all different dogs. Anyway, let's go and try them on. This is a large, fingers crossed they fit. Uh, what make are these? Let me have a look. Oh, I think they're next make, so hopefully they'll be all right. And these are £28. Now these are slightly snugger fit, but they're okay. Um, if they wash all right, they'll be okay. Um, I love it. They've got all these little dogs on with little hats on and scarves. Now these, uh, I think they were £30. Just let me check. These are £28. I think I've told you that already, have I? Now these have got pockets. It, it feels like a fleece cotton, almost like a lightweight winsiette. You know, the old fashioned winsiette. It's two pockets. Uh, it's elasticated waist, but it also has a tie through. So if you want it to tie it. Um, and they're really, really nice. Nice cuff. Now, the only thing I wouldn't like about these is I'm not mad on the cuff bottoms. These feel nice, though, can you see? But I always find a cuff bottoms, when you're in bed, they ride up. Or is it just me? I don't know. Uh, but I do like these. I like them much more than what I thought I would do. Um, and it's lovely if you've got any of these dogs, particularly if you've got a Dalmatian. <laughs> They're really, really nice, really cute. And I love it that they've got pockets. So let me know which pair of pyjamas you prefer. I think I've either one or two more pairs to try on. So, see you in a minute. Right. So these are the penultimate pair in this beautiful, beautiful blue fleece. It's, it's the softest fabric. Absolutely beautiful. They feel lovely on these. Um, would have preferred the top to be slightly bigger. I like them quite loose. So if I was keeping these, I probably would change them for the extra large. Um, but I, I did get a pair of extra large last year and they were slipping down all the time. Um, elasticated waist, but there is a tie, so that's a plus point if you've got the bigger size. Um, pockets, which I like. I really do like pockets. But it's got the cuffs on the bottom, which I don't like. But I do, lovely for lounging around in. Just feel like it may be a little bit too hot. But that could be because this is about the fourth pair of pyjamas I've tried on. So let me just show you the fabric again. And it's a really good cuff. Now these are £32. But they are nice, aren't they? I just think most people like a new pair of pyjamas at Christmas. Because you eat, don't you? You eat a lot then you think oh you you just want to get your comfies on or some people wear the comfies all day we've done that before <laughs> but usually after dinner we get changed into something really comfy and quite a few people fall asleep which is annoying last year though we played a game called rummy com i don't know anybody's played it it was really really good uh, I bought it for Christmas and it is a really good game. I can recommend it. A little bit different, you know, for the family. I think I might be too hot in these. They are nice though. Beautiful, beautiful colour and luxury, such luxurious fabric. Right, shall we try on the final pair? <laughs> right, I'm going to get the final pair now. Bear with me. Right, so this is the final pair of pyjamas. Um, they're like, a, well, as you can see, like a purpley colour mauve, 
lavender, don't know what you call it, um, with cheetahs on. Now these remind me of the Chelsea Piers pyjamas. I don't think I've ever been on the Chelsea Piers website, but they have lovely pyjamas, but they're more expensive than next. So this, these, I do really like these. Uh, they feel very comfortable. They have got the cuff bottoms, which I'm not keen on, but I think, I, I, but they've got pockets, which I like. So let me see how much these are. Isn't it annoying when you have your iPad up and it goes off everything? These are 30 pounds. So a nice Christmas present, aren't they? A nice pair of pajamas, nicely wrapped up. Um, you know, I would like them for Christmas. I, I always think it's really nice. Everybody likes new pajamas at Christmas. Right. So what do you think about these? I really like them. So let me know what your favourite pair of pyjamas has been, which you think look the best. I am hoping to keep one, hoping to keep one pair. Um, so just let me know which you like the best. I, I, the most comfortable are this pair and that very first pair that I tried on that I thought was overpriced at £38, the dark green ones. They were the most comfortable. The dog ones, the ones with the dogs on were quite comfortable as well. The blue ones and the grey ones, although I love them, I felt like I might get too hot in them. Um, definitely for sleeping, but if you live in a cold house, you know, maybe they'd be perfect for you. Right, so probably the next video will be the Sunday Sunshine Show where we're doing questions and answers. So I've got to plan on oh, do all the answers, get all the questions together and sort out all that, the answers. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got quite a busy weekend as well this weekend. It's my brother-in-law's 90th, I think I've told you. And then we're going to Chatsworth on Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me, this cough, I cannot get shifted. Um, and then I've got my nephew staying over Friday, so um, it is going to be quite busy. Um, but I want to just ask you if you've downloaded, I don't know if you watched the Sunday Sunshine show last week, you'll see that we've given us a gift. Well, I'm saying given. Um, Karen from Geordie Grandma spent hours compiling um, a, a YouTuber's advent calendar. Now, I will try and link it in the description box of this video as well. Um, because if you haven't downloaded it, it's really worth downloading it. And what it is, is an advent calendar. And as you click on each day, there will be a YouTuber behind the... What we've done is we've chosen six YouTubers each. You know, these four of us. So we've each chosen uh, six YouTubers. We didn't do one for Christmas Day. We thought you'd be busy. Um, but hopefully... Now, some of them you probably watch, you know. You may well watch. Because I'm sure we all watch the same ones. But there may be some that you haven't watched before and we're recommending them to you. So click on it each day. I'm going to keep asking you. I've <laughs> I'll give you a clue. I'll, I'll put questions in what's today's video and you can see who it is. Anyway, if you haven't downloaded it, it's, you know, it, I think it'll, you'll enjoy doing it. Even if you don't do every one, you know, or even if you do them all at once, it doesn't really matter, does it? You'll just find new YouTubers. Right, I'm going to go now. So I'll see you in my next video. Now, it's probably going to be the Sunday Sunshine Show. Um, and then I've got a few videos coming up next week um, when I get my head around doing them. OK, I'm going now, so bye for now. For now and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you'd like, like to. And give me a thumbs up. It doesn't cost anything and it really helps us YouTubers out to, to develop and build our channels. Okie dokie. Bye.